everybody, welcome to this Crown Tail Beta Guide, Care Guide for Beginners. Uh, if you want this as your own PDF, downloadable free PDF, please visit our website, betafishnews.club, sign up for our mailing list with your email, and we can uh, hook you up with this free guide. A uh, Crown Tail Beta, as you can see from the picture, is a really magnificent type beta and very popular. Um, it looks like a crown tail because the crown looks like a spiky crown that a king wears. So we're going to go over some basic information about it and in this handy video. So they come from Thailand betas and the crown tail is probably one of the best known of the beta species, beta splendids. It's also called a Siamese fighting fish and you'll figure that out if you put two males together why they're called that. Um, the tail is quite amazing in the different colors of crown tail and they come in all the colors of the rainbow. The gill area is near the head and this will, you'll see the gills when they get excited. The males have a large caudal fin that's three times the actual length of their body. Um, so you can see that these are a very finny fish and that's what makes them so popular. They live from two to four years like most betas. The rule of thumb is the healthier the beta, the stronger and longer it will live. They grow to two or three inches, and that's just the body. The fins are much bigger on these fish. You want to have a tank that's 10 gallon. If you need any help with tanks, we have other articles and videos on that. You can get by with a five gallon, but you want something like 10 or 20 would be amazing. Um, basically, water and diet are the things that will keep these very fish very healthy a constant water temperature of 76 to 89 you want 80 as the perfect temperature and a very neutral ph 6 or 7. one thing to remember is that these fish are really delicate even though they look tough um, their fins and their all their weight hauling around is very delicate so you don't want to have too much stuff in the tank that could hurt them and you don't want to crowd them in the tank um, Betas are decent fish, but they do can get sick with things like fin rot, ick, and constipation. So you want to make sure that you are feeding them a variety of foods, but that the feeding of the times is the same once or twice a day. So they can be picky, but usually they like mostly carnivores. So they like larvae, brine shrimp, bloodworms, pellets, and flakes. Um, but you want to change it up once in a while because it's like you, you don't like eating exactly the same thing every day. They are scrappy lot, but they do have a lot of personality. You can put them with things like shrimp, guppies, tetras, and frogs, but please do your research before introducing any new fish or animals into the tank and do this in stages. Um, and you wanna make sure that he, they get along. Um, you can breed them. There's a little primer there if you want to get into that uh, in our guide. The crown tail beta is quite an amazing fish um, it's, and it's decent for the beginner. Um, there's lots of different types, lots of different colors. So we hope that you enjoyed this. Please download this guide at our site, sign up for our list and you'll be entered in monthly draws, things like that. Also, there's a beta club that we have. If you want to send your beta picture and name, we can put you on our Friends of the Beta uh, page, and we'd love to see you there. Please uh, subscribe and like, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day.